Hampshire. My wife and I, my wife Patty and I, uh, bought the Coach House Motel back in 2005. And when I was young, I remember the Terry Fox run, even though I was living in Chicago at the time. I remember that very clearly. And uh, when we moved up here, I was just stunned to find out that he had actually stayed here. So when we bought this place, we had a very vested personal interest in it ourselves. And uh, the previous owners knew him quite well when, when he stayed here on August 26, 1980. He stayed right here in room number 10. And it really doesn't look a whole lot different than... What and, and where are we exactly? This is, uh, we're right across from Jackfish Lake, which is about 20 kilometers east of Terrace Bay. This is, uh, he stayed here on August 26th, and he stopped in, just outside of Thunder Bay on September 1st. And so he only, and, but when he was here, he was already sick and everybody knew it. Okay, all right. And uh, he, he swam here in the lake right across the street with... Uh, Oh, Craig, Greg, Greg little, Scott? Greg Scott, yes, the little 10-year-old boy who also had cancer. Right. And uh, there was that uh, documentary that showed pictures of him swimming in the lake. It actually showed him standing here in front of the motel. Well, if you want to see what I it was, I showing us up sure. into the room, that would be excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the room's not... We're, we're, we're doing spring cleaning right now. Okay, so no, 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 this, this is just a treat. This will be a treat for a lot of people, so... Okay, I'm gonna kind of walk up the steps. So when you walk in here, the first thing you notice is the 1970s shag carpeting. Wow! Great. This is the same carpeting that Terry Fox actually stepped on. Would you be able to open the drapes so we can get oh, sure. the light, or else it won't come through? Okay, I'm gonna 